lesson 12, I will apply understanding of fraction equivalents to add tenths and hundredths. So today we're going to talk about what happens whenever you try to add tenths to hundredths. So let's think of this in fraction form for just a minute. So if I was going to add one tenth to one hundredth, well think about what you know about fractions. Well, We can add these if they do not have common units. So we're going to talk today about how you can find equivalents in the units so that you can add these tenths and these hundredths. Now I will tell you that in your math binder I gave you a lesson 12 template and we're actually not going to use that today. We're going to go right straight to our problem set. Alright, so let's take a look at what it says. Complete the number sentence by expressing each part using hundredths. Model using the place value chart as shown in part A. So if you look at part A, we're trying to add one tenth to five hundred. So let's think of this in fraction form for just a minute. One tenth plus five hundredths. And we're wanting to, this to equal hundredths. Well, before I can add tenths and hundredths, I need to change this tenth into hundredths. So you can see on this place value chart that this tenth has been moved to the hundredths place. And look at how many tenths are equivalent to one hundredth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we basically said that one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. Now we can add ten hundredths plus five hundredths equals fifteen hundredths. So let's talk about this one more time. Let's model it one more time. So we have two tenths. So let's go ahead and put two tenths in our place value chart. And then we have one hundredth. So I can't add tenths and hundredths. So I need to find an equivalent hundredths to these tenths so that I will have common units. So if I move these tenths to the hundredths, two tenths is equal to how many hundredths? Well, each tenth is equal to ten hundredths. So let's do ten for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I missed one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's do ten for the other one. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten here and ten here. So two tenths is equal to twenty hundredths. So let's think about what that would look like as a fraction. So two tenths and we just changed it to twenty hundredths and we're going to add it to the one hundredth that was already there and that's going to equal twenty one hundredths. Okay, I'd like for you to do C all by yourself. I want you to pause the video and I want you to model it and then I want you to see if you get the same answer as me. So pause the video and try it by yourself. Okay, so you're going to see that I already modeled the one tenth and the twelve hundredths. I took the tenth and moved it to the hundredths place so that now I have all hundredths. So I started with one tenth plus twelve hundredths and I moved this one tenth to the hundredths so now I have ten hundredths plus twelve hundredths which equals twenty two hundredths. Okay, alright let's take a look at solving this in a different way. So now we're going to solve it without the model and we're just going to look at unit form. So solve by converting all add-ins to hundredths before solving. So remember an add-in is a number that you add together. So we, these are our add-ins, one-tenth and three-hundredths. So before we add these together, we're going to convert everything to hundredths. Well, the three is already in hundredths. So how many hundredths are in one-tenth? Well, ten, right? We learned that from our place value chart. So ten hundredths plus three hundredths equals thirteen hundredths. Let's try one more. So now I've got five tenths plus twelve hundredths. So five tenths is equal to how many hundredths? Well, if one tenth is equal to ten hundredths, then five tenths would be equal to fifty hundredths. And then we're going to add the twelve that are already there. And that's going to equal sixty-two hundredths. I want you to try to do C and D all by yourself. So pause the video, try to do them by yourself. If you get stuck, you can come back and I'll walk you through it. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video and you try to do this by yourself. Let's take a look at C. So 7 tenths is equal to 70 hundredths. 
So when I add 70 hundredths to 27 hundredths, I get 97 hundredths. Now in D, they try to make sure you're really paying attention. Did you notice what they did? They switched these. They made this the hundredths and they made this the tenths. So you didn't do anything to the 37, but you changed the 7 tenths, again becomes 70 hundredths, and when you add those together, you get 107 hundredths. All right, so now we're going to go away from unit form to fraction form, and we're going to convert these tenths to hundredths, and then we're going to write the answer as a decimal. So I cannot add tenths to hundredths without having common units. So I'm going to rewrite this fraction. Instead of two tenths, I'm going to convert those to hundredths. So two tenths is the same thing as 20 hundredths, and then I'm going to add that to eight hundredths, which gives me 28 hundredths which as a decimal looks like this. All right, let's try one more together. So we've got 13 hundredths, and we're going to change 4 tenths to hundredths. So 4 tenths is the same thing as 40 hundredths. And when I add those together, I get 53 hundredths. And as a decimal, that looks like this, 53 hundredths. So I want you to try to do C and D all by yourself and then come back and check with me. Okay, so let's take a look at C and D. So you can see that I went from six tenths to sixty hundredths and when I added that to thirty nine hundredths it gave me ninety nine hundredths which is written like this as a decimal. So for D I changed three tenths to thirty hundredths. I added together that was one hundred hundredths which is equal to one whole. Okay. All right, so now we're going to write our answer as a decimal. We're going to solve again. I want you to try to do all four of these by yourself, and then come back. We're going to check together. Okay, so hopefully you tried to do these by yourself, and problem four is just like problem three. The only difference is you're going to notice when you added these together, you got an improper fraction. So you had to remember that 132 hundredths was the same thing as 1 and 32 hundredths. So for B, I changed the 5 tenths to 50 hundredths, so that gave me 120 hundredths, which is the same as 1 and 2 tenths. I would not count it wrong if you added the 0 right here, but remember that 0 has no value, so 1 and 2 tenths is the same thing as 1 and 20 hundredths. All right, so for C, the 8 tenths became 80 hundredths. That equals 148 hundredths, which is equal to 1 and 48 hundredths. And then D, the 7 tenths became 70 hundredths. So when you add, you get 157 hundredths, which is equal to 1 and 57 hundredths. Okay? All right, so now we're going to do our application problem. We're going to see when would you ever have to use this in the real world. So this is kind of set up like a chemistry lab. So we're going to use the RDW process. We're going to begin by reading. Beaker A has 63 hundredths of a liter of iodine. It is filled the rest of the way with water up to one liter. Beaker B has four tenths of a liter of iodine. It is filled the rest of the way with water up to one liter. If both beakers are emptied into a large beaker, how much iodine will be in the large beaker? So let's start with a tape diagram here. So we have two beakers, okay? We have beaker A and we have beaker B. So beaker A has 63 hundredths of a liter of iodine, and beaker B has 4 tenths of a liter of iodine, and we want to know how much would be in these together if they were poured into one large beaker. So if I have two parts and I'm missing the whole, what do I do to these two fractions? I'm going to add them, right? So I've got 63 hundredths of a liter, plus four tenths of a liter. So in order to add these together, I need to find common units. So 63 hundredths of a liter plus four tenths would be the same thing as 40 hundredths of a liter. And when I add these together, I get 103 hundredths of a liter, which is an improper fraction. Now it doesn't tell me that I have to put this as a decimal, but I think I'm gonna change this to a decimal. That would be one and three hundredths of a liter. So my last W means I have to answer the question, how much iodine will be in the large beaker? So there will be 
one and three hundredths of a liter of iodine in the large beaker. So does that make sense? If I had 63 hundredths and four tenths, so 63 hundredths is about half, right? Because half of a hundred is 50. Half of 10 is 5. So both of these are about half, and I got a little bit over a hole. So that does make sense. All right. So remember, our big, our big objective today was to be able to find the equivalents in tenths and hundredths to be able to add them together just like we do fractions. So just remember that there are ten hundredths and one tenth and you need to convert these both to hundredths before you add.